Now, the electoral agency, IBC, has downplayed the rejection of its draft election regulations. IBC says the regulations were mere amendments to existing ones and that the rejection does not negate or put the integrity of the forthcoming general election into question. And as Sam Ogina reports, those rejected amendments were meant to ring-fence the integrity of the general election. Among the draft regulations rejected by the National Assembly included registration of voters' amendment regulations, general amendment regulations, voter education, party nominations and party lists, and technology amendment regulations. In rejecting the election regulations, the National Assembly claimed errors and late submission by IEBC. But the Commission is fighting back. IEBC is accusing the National Assembly of jumping the gun in its move. The regulations anchored on the mother bill, the Elections Amendment Bill. Interestingly, despite the National Assembly having approved the bill, the bill is still pending before the Senate. According to IEBC, the rejection of the regulations stemming from the bill was foolhardy. That notwithstanding, the Commission says it submitted the regulations on the 7th of April, two days ahead of the deadline of the 9th of April. April 2022. In the defeated regulations, the Commission sought to define the results path for the presidential results, more so in areas not covered by 3G network. This after the Commission was accused of relaying results from non-existent polling stations in the Supreme Court verdict that annulled the 2017 presidential results. As such, the presiding officer is required to electronically relay the result to the presidential tallying center. But where the network fails, the presiding officer will be required to move to the nearest point from the polling station with good network for transmittal. If this fails too, then they will be mandated to move to the constituency tallying center for the same. At least 1,111 polling stations are not covered by 3G network. The entire process. It's in the spirit of this that the commission came up uh, with a post-election evaluation uh, report and it informed what we proposed to parliament as changes in the election law to incorporate the, our experiences in 2017 and the Supreme Court judgment. Those recommendations in the regulations were meant to make this process uh, smooth. The Commission's move to have presiding officers open sealed ballot boxes to retrieve materials erroneously placed in the boxes was also shut down. The Commission had proposed that upon arrival at the constituency tallying centre, the presiding officer in the presence of the returning officer and their polling station agents would open and retrieve the said material or equipment from the ballot box, seal the box and record the sealed serial numbers. Nonetheless, the Commission says despite the amendment regulations being trashed, the existing regulations are foolproof to undertake a credible, free and fair elections. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.